Today I'm going to be making feta cheese from powdered milk. To do this, I will be adding ingredients in the order that follows. 2,800 milliliters of 30 degree temperature water, 3 grams of calcium chloride, 400 grams of powdered milk, a half a gram or a dash each of lipase and mesophilic culture, after which I will let sit for an hour to ripen. Then I will be adding a teaspoon or four and a half grams of rennet, and then I will let it sit for about four hours until the curd sets before cutting. Okay, I found that with making cheese uh, with powdered milk, uh, I find it best to add the calcium chloride first to your pot before adding the water, then add the water to it, and that mixes up the calcium chloride with the water right then and there in the very beginning. At that point you add your powdered milk to your pot and you stir that up and you let it hydrate for a while, I don't know, 15 minutes or so. Then you can add your cultures, um, yogurt, yogurt works really well too, a cup of yogurt or your um, half a gram of cultures uh, to it. Stir that up, let it, let it hydrate for a few minutes 15 minutes or so then stir it up really good and then leave it alone for about an hour and then you put in your rennet and I have left this now for four hours and I found that after four hours I get a nice good clean break on my curd and my curds look pretty pretty tough so I'm gonna go ahead and cut these now and I'm not going to cut them too small. I'm going to cut them kind of big and then let it sit for a little bit. And then I'll come back and I'll cut it some more. Okay, I drained the curds. The curds have been draining. And now I'm going to transfer them into this cheese lined, cheesecloth lined basket over here. Once that's full, I will wrap it up and press it. Okay, here we have it pressing. That's about one kilo. And um, it's not a very big cheese. This is like uh, 400 grams of uh, powdered milk. It will probably be about 400 grams of cheese. Um, but what I'll do is I'll start off with this smaller stone and flip it over in a few hours and continue it with this smaller stone and then I will put a heavier weight on top of that for about 24 hours before um, further ripening and drying before brining. Okay so here's the feta cheese it's been soaking in brine for a little over a week now and I've already been cutting around the edges of it and eating it in my salads and it came out absolutely perfect. It's nice, firm, yet crumble, it, crumbly like feta should be. And the taste is fantastic. Just as good as any feta I've had in Greece. So, you can make feta out of powdered milk.